beautiful lovelies hi it's emmy welcome back to another what you eaten it's my longest running series at this point but i'm going to be making a candy making kit and it is this one and it is a pop and cookin and this is the crepe yasan so this little kit makes crepes and there are three different versions you can make it seems to be very very involved and it includes a little spinner here, which evenly distributes the dough, so it makes a beautiful crepe. This is actually the second incarnation of the crepe yasan. I did one a long, long time ago. I think it was back when I was living in Japan. And the crepes were like jelly, and they were not thin. They were not crepe-like at all. So I'm excited to compare this one with that one. All right, let's go ahead and get started. This is going to take a while. So it includes a little template. This is supposed to simulate the crepe maker. Here is a sleeve that we can put one of our crepes in. And here's another template for making the banana. Ooh, look at this. So we have this little item here. It looks a little bit like a record player and it has the molds for our strawberries. So we have the crepe dough. We have the cream powder strawberry and banana jellies, chocolate sauce, sprinkles, a set of piping bags, a spoon, and a tray. Alrighty, lots of stuff. So the first thing we're gonna do is use our little crafting scissors. So this is where we'll be assembling our crepe when it's finished. Now we have all the plastic mats cut out. Let's cut up the tray. I've done a lot of these pop and cooking sets, like a lot. I think I've done every single one. Now that I've done this one, I don't know. Is, what pop and cookins that I'm, are I missing? I'm not sure. Okay, right. So there are tray pieces. Now we're gonna take our crepe mixture. We're going to fill the water to the line here. about seven scoops of water. Mm. Smells like cake mix. These crepes are gonna be much larger than the last set. So here's our crepe pancake batter. Wanna get all the lumps out of there. So we're gonna use our little record player here. Inside here is a little circle and that's where we wanna spread the dough. So one scoop and kind of smear it to the circle. We're gonna take our little spreader here, find the hole, and now we're going to spin it around. Oh, I love that, look at that. That is so satisfying. There we go. Beautiful, tap this a little bit. Now we're gonna place it in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds, depending on the power of your microwave. So mine is 700 watts, so I'm gonna do about 15 to 20 seconds. All right, let's cook this. Oh, it's puffing up. There it is, it smells really strongly of vanilla, and it looks like a crepe. Very gently, I'm gonna lift this up. Oh my gosh, it is just like a crepe. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Okay, look at this. And very carefully, you peel it up. Oh, that is so satisfying. Look at that. It's a miniature crepe. That's amazing. So I'm gonna set this here. Let's make some more, because it's much thicker than it was for the first round. And shape it into the circle there, and spread it around. This is my favorite part. Oh, that's so satisfying. Here it is. Carefully loosen it. Do you ever watch the street food videos? I love those videos where in China, all over the world really, where they make crepes, I love them. And they use that little spreader. Oh, it's so great. Okay. And here is the toy microwave version. Gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to make our faux banana and that requires our banana packet. So in this tray, we're going to add one scoop of water, which is two cc's 
and this packet. Tear here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Smells like runts. Banana runts. Pour that into there. And this will become our banana dough. This seems very similar to the other pop and cooking kits that include banana. Omatsuriya san, where it had the candy dip banana. So now we're going to use this little template. Roll the dough into a little bit of a log. And then we're going to fit it into the template here. Now we're going to use our spoon and the curve of the spoon to make banana slices. So like that. This is so great. I love these kits. I love them so much. They work so nicely. All right, kind of rock it and it'll slice through the banana. Next, we're gonna make our little strawberry pieces. In the clover tray, pour that into there. I believe these are gonna be the same jelly strawberries that are in the cake kit and many of the other pop and cooking kits. Gonna add two spoons of water. Stir that up. A little trickier to stir because this tray is so much smaller. Here's our crepe maker in the corners. We're just gonna fill these molds up with our jelly mixture. All right, so we're gonna set our strawberries aside. Now we're gonna make our whipped cream. We're gonna use this packet. Meow. It's quite a lot of it. Now, four scoops of water. Two. And this is going to be our instant whipped topping. Now we're gonna take this, and this is a set of piping bags. Separate these two, like that. So turn it inside out, and get a big scoop of this. this down, twist it up, and there we have a mini little piping bag. Now we're going to make our chocolate drizzle. Now we're going to take chocolate powder, add that, one scoop of water. And mix. Now we're going to take our second piping bag and fill this one up. Same thing, turn it inside out. This one's a little bit more liquid, so you can probably pour it in, yeah. Squeeze it down, give it a little twist. And there's our second piping bag. Take one of our crepes and place it onto there. All right, so now that we've placed that on here, we can see there's a little guideline, and this is where we're gonna place all of our ingredients. And when it comes to the cream, it gives you little tips. You can make little dots or you can make little squiggles. I'm gonna make this one first, which is a series of dots. So this is definitely not like a cream, this is more of a kind of frosting paste. I'm going to use the back of the spoon to get my strawberries out. Yes, perfection. Oh, that's so satisfying. You just push and they just pop right out. Cute. Boing. Look at that. Some sprinkles, add those. Now we're gonna fold it over like a little pocket. Cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so perfect. So tiny and cute. Take another pancake, place it on here. And this one I'm gonna do squiggles. This is going to be our banana crepe. And then we'll save two pieces for the banana strawberry one. Very small hole. Ding, cute. So I am very impressed with the resiliency of the crepe dough. It is very stretchy and strong. It doesn't want to tear. It's great. Now we're going to make our last one, and I'm going to put this wrapper on the bottom of this one. 
squiggles, squiggles. Now we're gonna add our last few pieces of banana. And the rest of our sprinkles. So there's a the crepe. And now we're going to wrap this like this with a little holder. And here are my finished crepes. They turned out beautifully. I'm gonna do the one with the wrapper first because that one seems like the easiest to hold. Look how sneaking cute. It's like a little baby crepe. Look on the back, it even says crepe. Itadakimasu. Mmm. <laughs> the crepe actually has a really nice texture. Much, 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 much improved than the old crepe version because it's not like a weird jelly. It actually has a thin, chewy texture, very similar to a crepe. It's very artificial tasting, it tastes like vanilla. So in that sense, it doesn't taste like a crepe, nor do the fruits. And the banana tastes <laughs> like banana runts or Laffy Taffy has that artificial banana flavor. And the strawberries have that artificial strawberry flavor as well. And they also have a strange like jelly, cool texture to them. Delightful to make, they don't taste that great. I can taste some of the chocolate sauce, which isn't bad. It tastes a little bit like hot cocoa really concentrated. The cream is very sweet. It's like a frosting. Altogether, it's kind of a strange experience of artificial flavors, but delightful to make. Oh, and the little sprinkles in there are nice. It gives it a little bit of crunch. Let's try the strawberry one by itself. Hmm? <laughs> very odd. Very, very odd. Sweet jellied, mushy, artificial strawberry, artificial vanilla, and this kind of stretchy dough. Strange. Much better, I think, than the banana version, because again, I'm not a banana fan. I like this one a lot better. All right, that was crepe san Super, super fun to make. I really love how Pop and Cookin' keeps trying to reinvent these candy making kits. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please like this video so I know you like them. Subscribe so you can see more of them. Share this video with your friends because sharing is caring. And follow me on social media so you know what videos are coming up next. All right, toodaloo, take care, bye. My nose is so flat that the spoon thing never worked for me, but when you put a little frosting on it, it works. <laughs>